What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Subnautica. In the last episode, we succeeded at building the Seamoth, and we also just got our hands on our Habitat Builder. So we're gonna have some fun building our own base. But first, we have a radio message to listen to. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Oh boy. Okay, so the distress signal from life pod six. They're at about 100 meters down, and they're approximately 400 meters west-northwest of life pod four. I don't know where life pod four is. And it says they're on the other side of the radiation zone, so I probably am not going to go there just yet. Sorry, LifePod6, we'll get there when we get there. For now, let's jump in the Seamoth and go check out the spot where I think I want to set up our first base. I'm not totally sure if I'm going to go with just having one base or if I'm going to build various outposts throughout the map. Honestly, having a bunch of outposts sounds kind of cool to me. But I was thinking about this area. It's not far from where we started in the life pod, but it's over here. We've got our entrance down into the caves, and I don't know. I think it could be a fun place to build a little base. Although maybe I should be wary of the sand sharks and the biters around here. Yeah, let's say I started with an X shape or a T shaped compartment. And let's say I put it there. Yeah, I like that. I think that'll work pretty well. Uh, maybe. Let me deconstruct that for now. I'm gonna swim around for a second and just see if there's a spot around here that I. I don't know, that tickles my fancy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go right here, in this red grass, just above the entrance to the cave. That way, if I do end up going more of an outpost route, I can just consider this to be the Jelly Shroom Cave outpost. Yeah, I think that'll work nicely. Well, we got another radio transmission, and I need materials to build the base, so let's head back to the life pod real quick. Approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's. well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Oh, wow. Well, that really changes my plan for this series, because looks like the series is over in 39 minutes. Sweet. I guess that's a good thing. In the meantime, I could use some food, some water, and some basic materials. So... Alright guys, I've gathered up some resources, and I'm ready to start oof, building this base. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure about this location, this placement. Sometimes the base building in Subnautica is a little... Uh, I don't know, my mind doesn't quite get how it's going to work out. And so we're going to really just be playing this by ear. So, if this turns out to not be great, well... I'm letting you know right now already that I already know that this might not turn out great. But there we go. We've got a structure. Now we need a place to enter the structure. Why can't I do it there? Weird. 
Okay. In that case, let's put it on this side. Cool. And the last thing we need is a solar panel so that this thing will have power for life support and other things. And there we go. Power restored. All primary well systems on Captain. Oh. I didn't realize the red grass was going to be poking through the floor. Well, we've already found our first little issue, and that is fine. All right, and we can see power is going up. That's good. Oh, goody. I can make lockers and different things now. Okay, this is really good. Now, I'm playing this out like I'm thinking long term, because uh, that's really fun and exciting. Even though we all know that in 26 minutes the series is over and I will be off of this planet for good. But for now, let's play around with this a bit. See what we can do. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with this base, but I started with this hallway, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan on having this be kind of a storage hallway, where I can put lockers on the wall, and yeah, we'll be able to start storing materials. Oh, I didn't have everything I needed to make that. So basically, it seems like I'm going to be needing a lot more titanium. Scanner room fragment. Also, it sounds like a sand shark just attacked the sea block. Which is rude! <sighs> okay, I need to be careful of the bigger fish. I keep running into them and it damages my sea moth, and that's. Uh, that's just silly. Alright, here's the goal the plan. We are going to build a fabricator and a radio for the new base and we're going to see if we can store everything that we own so far in lockers in the new base if we can do those things i will consider this a successfully started base Alright, I was able to get literally everything out of the life pod. Let's see how far that gets us. Alright. Now, I think the fabricator and the radio will go over on this wall. And so this will be kind of a... Not a place of honor, exactly. I keep hearing... something. Hmm. So that looks pretty good. This will be our storage hallway, and we'll probably expand in that direction when we start adding new rooms. So, let's go ahead and finish this locker. We'll call the first locker tools, and we'll also put other consumables in here. We'll call this locker metals, and this storage system is definitely going to get expanded and refined as time goes on. And then I would need another piece of titanium to make another locker, so... So up until now, I've actually been a bit hesitant to grab lots of resources because our storage situation was so abysmal in the life pod. Now that I'm in a position that I have a lot more 
resources to work with, it's a lot easier to just grab everything knowing that I can store it and when I need it, I'll have it. So I'm just going to call this locker materials for now. It simply refers to all of the materials that are not metals. And for now, I'd say that's pretty good. Tools, metals, and materials. Nice. We've got so much stuff. So for now, I'd say the habitat is pretty spiffy. All in all, I'm very happy with our starting habitat. Oh gosh. And all in all, I'm very proud of how well we have survived on this world. It's a little sad to think that we've only got about 10 minutes left here. But, so it goes. Well, I packed up some extra water for the trip to make sure we can Welcome make it, but Captain. I think it's about time to head off towards the landing site. Hopefully some other survivors got the Sunbeam's transmission and know where it is that we're meeting at. Oh my goodness, a life pod? Wait, life pod 3. I've seen life pod 3. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. Oh my goodness, look guys. Land! I mean, they did say they picked a landing site, so... I suppose it makes sense. But, all the same... Oh hey! A radio message! Uh, I guess we'll have to check that out when... Oh, actually... Yeah, I guess we'll just have to wonder what that radio message is, because... Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Ooh. Well. This is a nice little planet. Planet. A nice little island. Ooh. A sky ray. Oh my gosh, what is that flashing light? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is going on? We've got a big... Oh, I don't like you. Oh, I really don't like you. Let me scan you. Everything will be scanned. And then... Killed. Gotcha. Yeah, you run, you run. Got it. Okay. What on earth am I looking at? What is this? We've got some sort of tower. It looks very alien. And I'm honestly kind of scared. Ooh. So I think for now, I'm going to come right where the sunbeam told me to come, and we'll wait for them to get here. Oh goodness, it is getting dark. So I just want to say a big thanks to all of you guys for watching. This has been a super fun game, super fun series. Shame it had to end so early, but alas, that's the way of it. So thank you for watching, and... I'm about to hop aboard the Sunbeam and head home. What's happening? What? The tower just got taller. Oh my goodness.
Survivor, we see you. Yeah. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. There's no turning back now. Positions oh, ever. I see them. Touching down at 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Well, that's not great, but I guess it means I don't have to end the series, so let's check out what this thing is. Huh? Let's check out what this thing is. I don't have a tablet to insert. Well, it looks like the tower is not just a tower. It is also a giant laser cannon. And if I had the chance to wager a guess, I'd guess that that's exactly what happened to the ship I was on too. Well, that truly is unfortunate, but Nothing more we can do about it here, so I suppose we shall have to head back to the habitat and keep working on surviving, I guess. Oh, ah, that's a scary fish. Well, we can at least listen to whatever that message was. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Well, computer, radio, I really appreciate you translating that into that voice. That really added to the message. Whew. Well, guys, I think we're going to have to leave it there. We've got ourselves a nice, lovely new base. We're going to be working on this and expanding this in the future. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get rescued. The sunbeam was destroyed, and... Now we've got some other weird developments. A weird building, a really scary radio transmission, and who knows where it's all going to head. So thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, do leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day!